This is the first part of setting up the JNI interface where I'll be writing the class that's going to declare all the native methods. But uh, first, I should tell you that I'm running Ubuntu 14.04, uh, Java 8, and I have uh, the Luna edition of Eclipse in all for all 64-bit, just to get it out of the way. All right, so we can go ahead and start a new project out of a project. And let me see. We'll call this JNI demo. Right. New class. Yeah. And we'll put it in a package. And we will we'll name it JPP. All right. All right. The first thing we're going to do is we will declare all of our native functions. It'll be public, static, native. And this first function will be void, it won't be returning anything. It's just a function that's going to give me access to the parallel ports. Right. And this next function, or is going yeah it's going to be a, a read function and the last one will be a write function and we'll be passing in a couple of parameters port and the actual data I want it to output And right in here, uh, p access, p read, p write. Name them anything you want them to be. All right. Next step: create a static block. In the static block, we will use system load library. All right, and the library right now, the library name is isn't important. You can put it, name it whatever you please. I'm going to name it GPP libs, and we will take care of that later on. You'll see. But right now, I'm going to go ahead and create my methods I'll be using in the GUI. All right. You don't have to be overly concerned right now. What's wrong with that? Oh, yeah. My mistake. You don't have to be overly concerned about why I've uh, named these P access, P read, or P write. Uh, once the header has been created, it'll take my naming convention into account and and incorporate it into the header so it will all work out all right next you want to uh, highlight the project folder 
Let me go to run because we're going to go to an external tool that is going to generate the header file for us. And you click on external tools configurations and then double click program and you're into the create manage and run configurations so we want to well, we'll give it a name something that I'll remember and call it run Java H all right and Java H is the program the executable that will create the uh, header file for us all right in my system that program is located at and in the working directory you can put in everything just as I've been typing in except for of course the the project folder you put your own in and we're going to put it into bin folder All right, and in the arguments interim just as I have here and again you want to put in your own project folder all right and this is going to place the header file under our source folder or in our source folder so okay we want to apply it mistake apply it and then run it yes all right we'll go back to run run external tools and we will try running it again no why why just created our header we'll refresh okay click the and we have our header file well that should be it for this time uh, next time we'll be writing the C implementation of the native methods I hope this has been helpful, and we'll see you next time.